Three-term Congresswoman Liz Cheney, meantime, is officially out as Wyoming's sole member in the House of Representatives. Cheney became an adversary of former President Trump following the 1-6th insurrection. And on the heels of her critical comments, Trump made it his mission to oust her by backing Harriet Hageman in yesterday's primary. National political correspondent Alex Miller has the election results and what the future holds for Representative Cheney. Well, good morning, guys. It is a huge loss for Liz Cheney, and it wasn't even close. 66 to 29 percent here in Wyoming, that 37 percent loss coming, even though Cheney raised three times more than her opponent and former friend Harriet Hageman. Now, Hageman's place in Congress is all but assured. But what's next for Cheney? That's still up in the air. Liz Cheney's time in Congress will soon come to an end. But her career in politics may be on the brink of a dramatic new chapter. I have said since January 6th that I will do whatever it takes to ensure Donald Trump is never again anywhere near the Oval Office. And I mean it. Advisors say Cheney will spend the rest of the year focused on her work on the January 6th committee. What the future holds after that is less clear. But Cheney has said she will continue to work to ensure Donald Trump does not return to power. She probably has a lot, a number of opportunities that she can think through. Um, her stated goal, really, more than anything else, is to stop Donald Trump from winning the next presidency. There are people in this her vote to impeach right Trump now. following the January 6th insurrection and her role as vice chair of the panel cost her her seat in Congress. President Trump summoned the mob assembled the mob and lit the flame of this attack. But it also shifted the perception many outside of Wyoming held of her, from a rising star of the Republican establishment to President Trump's public enemy number one. For Cheney, the upcoming presidential election season presents an opportunity. We have to choose because Republicans cannot both be loyal to Donald Trump and loyal to the Constitution. And is now getting questions about whether she is considering her own presidential campaign, one that could share a debate stage with Trump. Getting there in a Republican field still dominated by loyalists to the former president will be tough. If you're looking at how narrow this path for her is going to be, let's say that Donald Trump is somewhere around, you know, here. And DeSantis is pretty close. And Pence is about here. Hers is probably about that. But it's a challenge Cheney may see as necessary as the former president weighs his political future. And guys, overnight, Cheney did file a form with the Federal Election Commission, first reported by Punchbowl News, uh, to create a new PAC called the Great Task. So we know at least that's in her future. One other thing I thought was interesting from her concession speech, though, was she talked about President Lincoln and the number of losses that he endured running for various positions in Congress before he finally won the presidency. And so while we know, uh, while we don't know exactly what she's going to do next, we do know that she's not ruling out a run for president president in 2024.